After traveling all around Europe, I have recently found one of my new favorite countries. It's a country with so much beauty and so much history that it needs to be added to everyone's bucket list. This is Croatia. So for 2023, I have been traveling nonstop for the entire year. And while I am so grateful for this to be my job and it's the thing that excites me most, I haven't really had a chance to relax and take a break. So for this trip, I wanted to come somewhere where I could relax and reset and also be somewhere where it's great to vacation and have some little adventures. Also somewhere with great food, but not ridiculous prices. And preferably somewhere with Mediterranean vibes since there's nothing better than a European summer. And this is exactly the recipe for Dubrovnik, Croatia. And I wanted to say somewhere where the hotel itself was a destination. And this private beach area of the hotel is just miraculous. They have your typical beautiful European rocks, and of course, some blue ass water. And then they also have this super famous saltwater pool that is great for photos. And the name of this property is called Hotel Excelsior and is undeniably one of the best hotels in this entire country. Let's give you guys a quick tour. So Hotel Excelsior comprises of a newer modern hotel building and its old historical building, which is where we stay. The views from this place are absolutely incredible and makes it so you barely need to leave this place with the sea right in front of the property. Also, the lounges and the restaurants are top notch. Then the rooms were good and even had a massive balcony. But a room like this can run you roughly $500 per night during peak season. But relative to other luxury hotels I've stayed at in Greece and Italy that are on the coast, this is definitely the best bang for your buck. Now another thing that's so great about Hotel Excelsior is that it's super close to the old town with about a five minute walk. But when you are at the hotel, it has this more private beachfront area as well as just a lot quieter and peaceful. But if you wanna take a couple steps away, you can be at the public beach or in the old town within minutes. And this is what I love about a European adventure, is that you have the beautiful crystal blue water beaches, but then close by you have an old town that's nearly 10 times older than New York City. So another really cool thing about here in Dubrovnik is that this is where they seen a bunch of films for Game of Thrones. And I personally haven't watched the show, but Noelle is a Game of Thrones master. Yes. So Noelle, what, uh, what exactly was filmed on, on these stairs right here? This is the scene where she walks down, the evil lady walks down the stairs and everyone goes, shame, shame, shame. It's the ultimate walk of shame. <laughs> I feel like we need to recreate it. Shame, 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 shame. <laughs> Just like that? Yep, you got it. And now we are trying to find a bar called the Booza that is supposedly a literal hole in the wall of a bar. Okay, pretty sure this is it? Now this is what I call a bar as a hole in the wall. An ancient wall for that matter of fact. So the Booza Bar is a really cool bar, but it does get very packed and very hot. There aren't many seats that are in the shade, so we've just been soaking it up in the sun. But once you do get too hot, luckily they have their own little private section of the sea that you can jump in. Damn. It really is so hot out. And something that is super underrated about Croatia is the food. Right now, we are hiking up about 20 flights of stairs to get to this place that's one of the best restaurants here in Dubrovnik. And the name of the place we're going to for lunch is called Lady PP. And I was wondering why they call it that. And then I saw this. It's a woman peeing into a fountain. Also, before this trip, I bought this Geek Design clip that has made traveling so much easier. Since you easily can unhook and hook on your camera, so when you are going up a lot of stairs or hiking or just on the go, it makes it so simple to grab your camera and shoot. I'll link it down below, not sponsored, did pay for this, but it has just been a game changer. I do have a quick caveat. So this is my first time using my new DJI Mini 3 Pro. And this thing is the size of a pepperoni and I haven't gotten to see how good the quality is, but let's see what this thing can do.
So we made it back to the old town, which is significantly more enjoyable when it is not as hot as a natural sauna. And it is super cool to be here at night since this is such a medieval city. So all of the lights and even all the bats that are flying above us just makes it feel, what, what does it make it feel like? Uh, don't come to me because you can't think of a way. <laughs> <laughs> You're an author though, come on. Not that I couldn't, I just thought you'd be better. Hold on, she has a better answer. Game of Thrones. Winter is coming, but it actually is so hot, so winter does not feel like it's coming. Brett, you don't know what it, that means because you've never watched it. Some of you guys hopefully know <laughs> what she means. And now for dinner, we're gonna take you guys to our favorite spot that we've gone to here in Dubrovnik. We were honestly there last night, and it's just so good that we gotta run it back. My Italian grandma probably would slap me if she heard this, but the pasta has been absolutely delicious here in Croatia, as well as even the gelato. And I'll do a cup with two scoops. Actually, make it three. Two scoops, sir? Two, make it three. I'm not driving. So the name of this place is called Pepino's Gelato, and we've been here for a few days, and I feel like we've came at least two times a day after we found it. It's so it really is so darn good. I don't know if they get it from Italy or how the Croatians do it here, but they're doing something right. Comparable to the Italian gelato, how do you compare this? It's up there. What I would love is to be blindfolded and then try them all, but it's hard to compare, but it's really good. Gelato blind taste test, coming soon. We'll do it by country. Still got my money on Italy, but. So I did just wanna say how grateful I am to be in a place where I have my money working for me, even when I'm on vacation here in Croatia. From the YouTube channel getting continuous views to even my investments. And with inflation getting to record high rates, it's critical to always have your money work for you. And my subscribers who are a part of this community of go-getters are already doing that. Thanks to Masterworks. Masterworks lets you invest in fine art worth millions. I recently went to their headquarters back home in New York City and was super cool to see the art that they're investing into. They have art from Warhol, Cause, and even Banksy. So Masterworks registers these art pieces with the SEC, then breaks them into shares so you can invest without needing millions. In each of Masterworks 14 sales, they've delivered a positive return to their investors, with their most recent sale from a couple weeks ago giving investors an annualized net return of 77.3%. And Masterworks does have so much demand that they even have a wait list. But they are giving access to my subscribers if you click the link in the description down below. Now, back to Croatia. So today we're going to explore Dubrovnik by sea. Since one of my friends actually has a boat tour company here called Rewind and is gonna show us all the best islands and caves and everything that this part of Croatia has to offer. Also, he said that they got drinks and floaties, so super excited for this day. So we just got on our boat here with Rewind Boat, and we have our captain. This is Philip. Hello, guys. Philip, how long have you lived here in Dubrovnik? I'm born and raised here in Dubrovnik, so basically my whole life I'm here on the boats and living in Dubrovnik. Yeah. Amazing. You're gonna show us the best spots? Yes, of course. Why not? So far, just even getting out here, this is incredible. Just look at how blue this water is. I'm really starting to realize the more I travel, the more I realize that everywhere else has crystal blue water besides America. This is European paradise. So our first stop on today's tour, it's the nude beach. No, I'm just kidding, I don't think we can film there. But if you're into that stuff, they got one of those for you. Oh yeah, they are really letting it all out there. All right, then just on the other side of the nude beach, you have this insanely massive cave. Noelle, what do you think about the nude beach? I've never felt so overdressed in a bathing suit. <laughs> Not only is Philip a great captain, but also a great bartender. Of course. We got some Here go. hey, Thank you. Cheers. The 
water is nice here and all, but when you come to New York, I'm gonna take you to the Hudson River. Okay. The water is almost just as clean as this. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Here you can see the bottom even like it's like 20 feet, 15 feet. It's beautiful. A lot of fishes here and very clean. Yeah, I'm just kidding. In in the Hudson River, if you put your hand in it, you, you can't, can't see. It. I know. I heard <laughs> okay, it a lot. Pull you. So, yeah, I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> so luckily, Rewind does have floaties, but. It is so salty in this water and the composition just makes it so easy to float. Noel's got the plastic floaty, I got the human body floaty. Wow, we even got a floating bar. Here we go. Welcome. Look at that. Life doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> what more can a girl want? A rose and a floaty. <laughs> and a bread. <laughs> and a bread, exactly. And bread. That's what every girl wants. Now for the next location, we're here in the blue cave. The tide's kind of high, so <laughs> a little bit difficult to get in. It has been so insanely hot here in Croatia, so we came back to our hotel, jumped in the sea, and now got some uh, fruity frozen daiquiris. And a pro tip that we just learned about Croatia is that even if you're not staying in a nice hotel like Excelsior, you can still come to the beachfront property here and it's totally public free. Since there's a strict law in Croatia where if you're seven meters from the shore, it has to be public. So even if you're not staying here, definitely recommend coming here to jump in the sea. So now to end this incredible Croatian vacation, we are going to be having a fine dining experience here at Hotel Excelsior. And we were able to get a reservation at 8 p.m., which is the perfect time because the sun just set behind the old town and now the sky is just turning into a rainbow. And the normal food here is already so delicious that I'm really excited to see how good the fine dining is. So we made it here to dinner at the restaurant called Census and check out how beautiful this is. Not just do you get a view of the old town and sunset, but this beautiful view as well. <laughs> Noel, cheers. This delicious meal was the perfect way to end this trip. The steak was next level and the dessert was even better. So after spending a week here in Dubrovnik, I can definitely say this was a perfect place to come and reset on a Mediterranean vacation. If you are looking for a European adventure where you get good value for your money, Croatia is for sure your place. Until next week, let's get down and get busy in the next one. <laughs>